How to conceive a baby boy? This is a question that a lot of people have asked. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly how that happens and what factors do and do not influence the chances of conceiving a boy. Make sure you watch till the end as I will be covering the most crucial information towards the end of this video. You will learn what really determines a baby's gender, the differences between X and Y sperm and can they really be distinguished? What are the different methods to conceive a boy and do they even work? The proven method to conceive a boy and other important information. So let's begin. What determines a baby's gender? Chromosomes is the genetic material which makes us who we are. A human being contains 23 pairs of chromosomes one pair of which is the sex chromosomes. A female contains two sex chromosomes, X and X, whereas males contain X and Y. Typically, the female egg is therefore genetically encoded to produce only X chromosome. However, men on the other hand produce millions of sperms. Roughly 50% of the male sperms will be X-bearing and the other half Y-bearing. If X-bearing sperm fertilizes an egg, the resulting baby would be a girl. And if Y-bearing sperm fertilizes, then a boy would be conceived. What are the differences between X and Y sperm? And can they really be distinguished? What you see right now is a semen sample containing millions of sperms. Do they look different in the shape, size, or how they swim? Earlier studies in 1960s by Dr. Landrum Shuttles, who popularized the Shuttles method, suggested that X-bearing sperm are larger in size whereas the Y sperm are small. This was explained due to the sheer size difference between X chromosome, which is much larger compared to the Y chromosome. This meant that Y-bearing sperms would be smaller, hence have the ability to swim faster as contain less genetic material. However, this is not true, as proven by recent studies. Which brings us to the different methods to conceive a boy and do they work? Alkaline diet for a baby boy method. Dr. Shuttle's method also states that acidic pH in the female environment has deleterious effects on Y sperm, thus reducing the chances of conceiving a boy. Therefore, according to his method, you should consume high alkalinity foods such as citrus fruits, root vegetables, nuts, etc. to make the female body environment more alkaline. Again, this is not true. A study looking at 58,489 human sperms showed that different pH ranges do not alter the ratio of X and Y sperms. What about timing around ovulation and position method? Do they work? As suggested by the Shuttles method, Y sperms are faster. Therefore, they exhaust and die off quicker. So, if trying for a boy, intercourse should be on the day of ovulation and 2-3 to three days after ovulation. Similarly, with respect to position, any position that favors the position of sperm closer to the opening of the uterus is favorable according to this method. As Y sperms swim faster and would reach the egg earlier. Unfortunately, this is not the case. If it were, then all women conceiving through a fertility treatment procedure called intrauterine insemination or IUI, a procedure in which highly motile sperms are directly inseminated in the uterus around ovulation time would all have boys. But this clearly isn't the case. As shown in this study, what percentage do you think had boys? Well, the percentage of women that did have boys is around 50%. I know what you're thinking. All this sounds very complicated. What are the actual chances of conceiving a boy? And is there a method that actually works? Whether you do or do not practice any of the mentioned methods so far, you naturally have a chance of 50% to conceive a boy. Now which method is proven to increase the chance of having a boy to almost 100%? The scientifically proven method is by pre-implantation genetic testing or PGT, a procedure which takes place alongside in vitro fertilization where eggs and sperms are cultured in the lab to form embryos which are genetically tested to see if it is a boy or girl prior to transferring the identified embryo to the female uterus for implantation. With PGT, you can be sure that once you conceive, it will be the determined gender. Now, there is a lot of misinformation on this topic, non-validated claims of high success rates achieving desired gender. However, I'll encourage you to do your own due diligence. And if you feel stuck or not sure about a certain method, let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to check out the next one.